So cinematographers are going crazy for this new camera rig that is being used on the movie The Creator. But the AI are developing a super weapon. So I thought I will be showing you how I build this kind of setup. Watch me create the creator creation right now. So basically this is all we're gonna need for this build. I have a couple of bits and pieces I've been collecting over the years. Also, I forgot the handles. We're gonna need the handles. So the only thing that's custom in this rig is this. Basically just a aluminum plate. This is the thing that it can attach the RS3 to the camera rails in this position. So I'm gonna take the RS3 power adapter. With this I can power the RS3 gimbal with, with um, external batteries. All right, so there we have that one. So we have the rails here with a camera plate on the bottom. So I'm just going to take my custom made mount, just pop it in here. So now I will take the V-mount battery plate and attach it to the rods. Get it right up in there. Eh, maybe not that close. Tight and snug. Oh, and I remember now I had this D-tap battery distribution placed in here. Can you see that? So I will remove my camera plates and get my... Maybe I can just... Get it flush in here. All right, so far so good. So now I'm gonna attach this to the port here. So now I will attach the gimbal to this power mount. Okay, pretty cool. We're getting there. So now I'm going to take my D-tap to, what are these called now? What are these called Lomo, Slomo, Lomo, Lomo? Lomo? You can be Lomo, but I will not be powering it up before I have attached the camera, obviously. So I'm gonna take the plate for the RS3. Now I will connect this here. So next up is this top handle for the RS3, or what do you call it, briefcase handle? But in this case, when I attach it like this, it becomes a top handle. On this top handle, I also attached an rail so I can attach different accessories like field monitors or maybe a microphone or something. So yeah, what, what do we got next? We got the handles. So let's attach the handles. Tighten it down. So here it is. The creator camera rig. Oh, isn't that a beauty? What a beauty. Check out my camera, yo. Let's just stand here and appreciate this build for a couple of 10 minutes. <sighs> okay, I'm done. So I can really see the benefit of this kind of setup. I could have it mounted on a tripod like this and quickly just pop it off and go around and get my, you know, dolly shots or tracking shots. I love this idea of efficiency. You can go from stationary tripod shot locked off and all that and then quickly go to a moving shot the thing i noticed with this setup whenever i wanted to make like a dolly shot like this all of the weight from the gimbal is positioned in front of me i found it really hard to keep this thing stable and steady and smooth to get a better results i went like this so when i keep the weight as close as possible to my body I managed to get much much more stable and smooth. So I tried to use this kind of setup on my upcoming psychological horror. No, it's not a horror, it's a thriller. In my upcoming psychological thriller called, well, it's a working title, Together, we, we shot my movie here in my apartment. When you place a lot of lights and tripods and two actors and me and this thing in a tiny room, there's not much space left to breathe. So I got rid of the gimbal and put my camera on a tripod just to save up some space. So I'm actually leaning a little bit more to getting me a B camera, something similar to the A7S III. So that way I can keep this on a tripod and then my B camera is in the corner just waiting to be used with everything rigged 
and just ready to go. I can just go and grab it, turn it on and just get my shot. All right, this is all I got for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.